Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, opening a brand new Miniverse Lifestyle Series 2. Let's see what's inside. All right, let's see what we get. We have another tray that's to put those at the bottom since we're going to be pouring resin. And on the back up here, it tells you what we're making. So we have some teacups, and these are the mint green ones. Those ones looked really cool. That's like one of my favorite colors. So it looks like we'll be making the cups looks fairly easy and maybe it already comes with the dishes we'll have to take a look in here and see what's inside this is probably the sandpaper yep we got one of these last time since we're making it out of a mold so we might need to use that to clean up um, the bottom of the item we're making Next, we have, or oh, there's some cookies. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's some tiny cookies in there. This feels like resin, maybe. Yes. Sunny Studios Liquid Sand, it says. Yeah. Does it actually say sand? It does. I had to look at it like three times. Like, is that what it really says? Okay. Then we have, have a sunny day. Ooh, a tray, there's a tray with some handles on it so we don't make the handles, they're already pre-assembled, that's kind of nice. This must be the mold. Cute. And then a couple more items. This one's wrapped in that cute little tiny post paper. And, oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. I love that color. It's a very nice green. And then the paper is the same as the last one that came with the candle, the mini post, and it has some candles and different things on there from the series. And the last bag has the legs for this to assemble and then some gold spoons those are cute the first step isn't really making sense to me am i supposed to put resin down first or is that just saying stick it down there but why is there a resin bottle maybe it'll make sense when i take it out let's see there's the mold Oh, oh, okay. So we're not pulling, pouring that way. We're pouring in this way. So I think it's just showing that you've got to get it way down here first. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. So these are kind of cool, the little trays they give you, because they do fit snugly in there, so they're not going to, like, move around if you have them set in there properly. And like that. And then let's take the resin and add that nozzle on it. It is a little bit longer. And uh, let's start pouring. And then I guess you do the entire thing. You let it set outside for 10 to 15 minutes. Then it looks like you flip it over and take it out of that tray and let it set for another 10 to 15 minutes and then you can remove it. We'll see. And there should be enough resin in here. Oh yeah, that's easy to, to push all the way down there. I'm pushing however I can't really see, there we go. I'm just gonna kinda like squeeze and slowly turn it. I think that was successful. It looked like it went down all the way. It's so bright in here and it's a light color, but in person, you can see this pretty well. Let me add some more on top. Ooh, hopefully that wasn't too much. Was that too much? Maybe. <laughs> no, it looks like maybe just perfect and there's not gonna be anything there remember because we're gonna add that handle later when we uh, after we cure it twice 
we will add a little resin and stick the pre-made handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one outside. I think it's fine and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit to show it to you. Okay, this sat for a very long time. We're just going to kind of tug around, loosen it up a little bit before we try to get it out of here. I did, let's see, it suggests 10 to 15 minutes. I did like 20 minutes on each side. Ooh, I feel like that's gonna be a little difficult <laughs> to get out. Struggling, struggling. Oh my goodness. That is hard. Is there an easier way to do this? And I'm just not doing it smart. Phew. Okay, a couple little tiny, oh man. Oh, I thought those were air bubbles. I was like, oh no, but that's where the little handles are gonna go. There is a little bubble there, which I think when I do the second one, I'll gently tap it, but it kind of looks like a little chip in my, in my teacup. So it's kind of authentic, right? Let's get these out. This little tray, it's real flimsy. I wish it was a little bit more sturdy. I mean, you can still use it, but it's definitely like flimsy and bendable. So let's see. How easy this is to go in there. Yeah, and it matches like perfectly. So this might be difficult to show, but, oh actually, that might be good. There's some resin that is on the lip here, so I wonder if I could just stick it in there, because it's not cured resin. Let's do that and then put it in here and in here. For this part, I will use the flashlight just to do a quick zap. And as long as your flashlight's like very, very charged and full and bright, it should set pretty good. And once it's set a little bit, I will put it outside with the next batch. That way it can start uh, curing better. Okay, that looks good. You can't even tell that I connected it that way. So that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the next one. I'm gonna leave that one upside down. Guess I can move that for now. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I have the nozzle all the way down. I'm gonna start squeezing and then Gently turning it, but not too quickly. That's and then, cool. I know, and then once it's all in there, keep squeezing and lift. I'm gonna do a couple you little gentle put taps. The when you, you don't put, it says you're supposed to put powder in it, but you're not putting powder in it. No, it said sand on here, liquid sand. And I thought that was weird, but nope. It's just oh, that reminds me, the top of this, I don't even think needs to be sanded. It's so smooth. Now, if you over pour it, it'll be gentle. The handle's not, hasn't cured a very long time. But um, I lost track of what I was saying. What was I just saying? Mm, don't remember. <laughs> I think it needs just a little bit more though on the top, but we'll put this outside and I'll be back to show you the second one. This is the second one. It came out really well. I don't see any air bubbles in this one. And in hindsight, don't do what I did. Make a bunch of these. I think there's enough probably to make four. I have the third one uh, forming now, but you should pick your good ones and then put the handles on because you only get two handles. So don't do what I did, um, but I'm going to keep making them and you could probably put a dab of resin when you take them out to fill that hole. And then you could just use them as like little, little bowls for your doll houses or whatever you use them for. I think that would be so cute. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have some extras for my daughter to play with, but let me put a little dollop on here and I'll show you the final product and the cookies. I was actually able to make five total before I ran out of resin. They all kind of did go downhill after the first two. The second one was the best. 
Um, this one came with like a hole right in the side, but have you ever seen those ramen bowls that have a cutout like that for the spoon? Maybe it could be used for that. Um, this one was pretty good except for the base kind of went wonky. But this last one did have a lot of air bubbles because there wasn't much resin left, but I probably could patch those a little bit with using what's left on the lid here and then a toothpick. But even though these have defects, you could stack them like this and put them in your kitchen. Or I love Alice in Wonderland. So I thought it would be cool if you made like different colored of these or different styles of teapots and you could kind of like stick them in a crazy chaotic way and use that to make like Alice in Wonderland and like tea party stuff. I thought that would be cool. But let's put these on the table. All there's left to do is add the cookies. It does not show that they set them with resin. They just have them on the side of the plate and then they have a spoon in here. Of course you could stick it down if you want to. I don't think I will. I think I'll let my daughter use those for play. But here's what the cookies look like. I think they're super cute. And I did get several more of these. So if you wanna see me make them, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.